The development of hybrid electric vehicles requires more testing resources than your existing powertrain test field can offer. So how about using your available engine test beds as an additional testing resource to help out? In hybrid vehicle development, most of the system testing is done on powertrain test beds. Here we have all relevant components in real and at the same time we can test in a reproducible lab environment. However, powertrain test beds are complex to operate and cost intensive in many ways. Being responsible for one of those many hybrid projects at your company, you most probably face the issue of getting valuable testing time on those rare powertrain test beds. At the same time, in the building next to you, your colleagues in combustion engine testing are most probably hardly waiting for the next challenges, which would increase their testing utilization as well. So instead of investing in new powertrain test beds, which for your project would be available too late anyway, let me show you today how to make your conventional engine test beds ready for hybrid vehicle development. We in AVL started to call this solution the virtual powertrain test bed. My name is Alex Kola. I'm a product manager for virtual testing solutions at AVL. Together with one of our customers, we detected the mentioned resource conflict and successfully transformed an existing internal combustion engine test bed into a hybrid vehicle test environment. Specifically, this means we made it possible to use engine test beds as if they were powertrain test beds. This upgrade enables you to utilize the engine testbed on both sides of your product development process, the very well-known V-cycle. How does this upgrade work? We are bringing simulation to the testbed. Important is that simulation and the unit under test, the real components on the testbed, are exchanging values in the correct time frame. This is the real time. This means we need real-time simulation. Our solution consists of a real-time execution platform, which allows that models created in the office by the various model development departments can be used at the testbed. With up to 10 kilohertz of real-time execution, even the highly dynamic models, for example, for drivetrain and vehicle simulation, are properly executed. And our technology is open for implementing non-AVL, so third-party vendor models. And, if required, the models are running as a non-compiled, Windows-based code simulation, in case your chosen simulation software does not allow the compiling for the required real-time target. Our, our real-time execution platform is a standalone and portable device and with the modular model concept even transferable from the engine testbed to the powertrain testbed or chassis dynos. The simulation environment is exchanging values with the testbed system, which does preferably, but not necessarily, need to be the latest AVL Puma system. We are compatible with previous Puma versions from 1.5.3 onwards, as well as with third-party vendors. To set up the virtual powertrain testbed, we provide out-of-the-box virtual components, our so-called model library, as well as a commissioning tool to form a virtual palette. What exactly that is, you might ask yourself. Let me explain to you in a moment. As a last major part, we add preparation and execution tools because you will have the need to bring your real life cycles to the testbed, and furthermore, efficiently execute your test plan by using an AI software for optimization. Some more words to the just mentioned model library. It is a modular and open model kit, compatible with office code simulation environments and real-time execution platforms. Included are models for powertrain components, the driver, but also testbed dyno and the unit under test, like the internal combustion engine. So, instead of creating the required model, models by yourself, this library allows you to either fill the gap of missing in-house models 
or to make use of our AVL standard models. These model library components can be then formed to a virtual testbed configuration, including your specific powertrain configuration, or as we call it, the virtual palette. What you get is a fast and efficient test preparation by running your whole testbed configuration in the office. Your models are pre-parameterized, your configuration pre-validated. Once this is done in the office environment, the whole virtual palette is moved to our real-time execution platform at the engine testbed. This way, we maximize the productive testing time on the cost-sensitive real testbed since the required setup and preparation time on the testbed is minimized. All in all, the provided quick and standard virtual configurations are meant to give you an efficient start for many applications without the effort of model creation and integration. Let's talk about the tasks during the calibration and validation phase of hybrid vehicle development. Based on our AVL modeling capabilities, we can transfer more than half of the calibration and validation tasks from the real powertrain testbed to the virtual environment. The green checkboxes on this list indicate these mentioned tasks. The yellow ones require a higher modeling effort to create sufficient system reaction for performing the test. For such cases, we of course collaborate with you to include your existing sophisticated in-house models or to create them for you based on your component data and expertise. Either way, this enables to bring even those highly transient calibration and validation tasks from the real powertrain testbed to the upgraded engine testbed. Now, let me show you a calibration use case example usually performed on the real powertrain testbed or even during road testing. The hybrid strategy optimization. How is our solution, the upgraded engine testbed, enabling this use case? By the way, since you are watching a recording, please feel free to press pause at any time and take a moment to have a closer look to this schematic and workflow overview. Main part of a hybrid control software is the state machine for the hybrid control modes. So optimization is key to later on meet the engineering targets with respect to energy management, drivability, and so on. As a first step, the virtual setup on the engine testbed is being prepared. That means also to bring the simulation to the testbed, in best case, after it has been pre-validated with our aforementioned virtual palette. On the lower left, you can see an example of such a virtual powertrain testbed setup, or in other words, an engine testbed upgraded with virtual components, driver, vehicle, and environment simulation. Even the hybrid controller itself does not need to be available as a real control unit, but instead, the simulation model of the controller function can run on our real-time execution platform, which by the way also offers an XCP interface. This way, it is possible to bring all simulation parameters and values to your favorite calibration software. Your calibration engineers will keep the same look and feel at the testbed, although now virtual components are running in the background. With the configuration up and running, the optimization steps can be executed as required, starting with each separate driving mode, followed by the transition between the modes, and finally, a global DOE optimization for the energy management over defined drive cycles. Here, using our powerful AI tools for DOE test planning, execution, and optimization. And please let me stress one big benefit of using virtual components. Each hybrid mode and transition can be executed faster since the initial conditions for each state, like for example state of charge or temperatures, can be directly modified as they are simulation parameters. 
such a use case has been successfully proven at our customer, who was able to optimize the calibration on the engine testbed and this way minimize the need for powertrain testbeds and road testing to just doing the final validation of the hybrid strategy. The virtual powertrain testbed is not limited for use cases in the calibration and validation phase. Also on the other side of the development process, the early phase of concept studies, such an upgraded engine testbed proves to be highly beneficial. Again, let me give you as example one of our customer reference use cases. The situation might sound familiar to you. Based on an existing combustion engine, new hybrid electric powertrain concepts shall be developed. For different markets with different targets and limits, the powertrain concept might need to fit to specific vehicle classes as well. With your virtual components at hand, you start to prepare the various virtual setups of hybrid powertrain concepts, such as, for example, P0, P3, P4 layouts. To cover the different local markets, also specific settings for the vehicle and environment simulation is being prepared. As the next step, for each concept layout, the most relevant variation parameters of the virtual components are defined. This could be battery capacity, e-drive specifications, you name it. Now you are left with many possible layouts and a huge number of possible variations. So with our so solution package, an active DOE run of the most relevant test sequences is performed on the prepared virtual powertrain testbed. The outcome allows to select the best candidates out of the many possible hardware variations. And let us not forget, the whole concept study is performed on the engine testbed instead of pure office simulation. That means with real measured engine emissions and fuel consumption. So your test results are closer to the full vehicle behavior, which would be available only much later in the development process. I would like to change the perspective for a moment. The automotive industry is in the transition phase, and this transition created two parallel types of development processes. There is the established hardware-centric V process, which I addressed with some use cases before. The second is the agile and software-centric DevOps process, which is used for developing the software-defined vehicle. Here, the control unit software is the actual unit under test, not a hardware component. The software developers are working in agile processes and require to test and validate their prototype software in fast loops and in various test environments. In addition to the office or hardware in the loop system, these prototypes should be tested together with real hardware components as early as possible to provide early improvements and require changes. Our solution of an upgraded engine testbed allows to connect the early simulation models of hybrid controller software with the real engine hardware and virtual hybrid powertrain components. This way, validation results are closer to a full vehicle test and in early software development phases Full vehicle prototypes might not even be available yet. Now you have heard about why your existing engine test beds can still be used for hybrid vehicle development and how, with our AVL solution package, these can be successfully transformed into virtual powertrain test beds to increase your testing resources. The presented use cases hopefully gave you a good idea of what can be done with your engine test beds once upgraded to a virtual environment. However, I may have left you with open questions about specific parts of our solution, the underlying AVL products, boundary requirements, or the possible applications and use cases. Well, my colleagues and I are more than happy to answer them and discuss with you how to upgrade your engine test beds and make them ready for hybrid vehicle development.